All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so you guys might be familiar with my buddy Ryan from Gendic Commando. I sent him a couple of military patches a few months ago, and he actually returned the favor. So I know he did a little un unboxing video, if you will, so I'm gonna be doing the same thing, and I'm pretty excited to check it out. So you guys already know I get a bunch of patches and stuff from a lot of the fans. So, you know, we have some Estonian patches here. We got some Finnish patches here. We got a lot of cool stuff. So you guys have been awesome with sending me a lot of cool stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. And I mean, it's just, it means much more to me to get these things from all the fans. Um, I could, you know, go overseas and trade it with random people. I have done that, but actually knowing what it means to a lot of y'all, uh, it just means a lot more to me to actually receive it from people who are willing to share that with me, you know? So this is from my buddy Ryan again. His uh, YouTube channel is called Gen Dick Commando. We've been buddies for a while now, so of course I will put his his YouTube channel down in the video description so you guys can go check out his stuff. He does a lot of awesome reaction videos, and he's also really good at Call of Duty. I you know I like to do video game playthroughs, but I normally do the campaigns because I'm really not that good at the multiplayer. So if you want to see some good multiplayer content, you can go over and check his stuff out. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Um, so I guess he sent. Yeah, some of his patches. He did do a video and he sort of explained what he was going to be sending. So I'll put that video down in the video description as well so you guys can go watch it. But I mean, it looked like a lot of meaningful stuff. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. Of course, we got to do it with the trusty K bar and we'll get into this. So I'll be pretty careful so I'm not overcutting or anything. <laughs> careful, just. <laughs> okay. So I think that's good enough. All right. Okay, so we'll change the angle a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit better. Now the first thing I felt, I already know what it is because I actually got this before from uh, another Royal Marine, but this is cool. So I got the, I'm not actually sure what you guys call this, this specific symbol. So let me go and search that right now. All right, so I Googled it. Okay, this is the globe and laurel. So I did hear that before. I'm not exactly sure. I think I've just heard it around, but I'm not exactly sure what it was pertaining to. So this is a globe and laurel. Now in the U.S. Marine Corps, we have our Eagle Globe and Anchor. Um, you know, if you look at the top right corner of all my thumbnails, I have the Eagle Globe and Anchor. Um, so you guys can have like a little bit of a reference point. But yeah, the globe on here actually shows the countries on the other side of the globe that the Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor doesn't have. So with this globe and the globe from the Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor, you have like the whole world covered, so to speak, which is really cool. So you have the globe, you have the laurel, and then you have like the, you know, I guess like the heraldic, her heraldic, heraldic? Heraldic. I don't know, like the, the royal symbols, like the lion and the crown, which is really cool. But the one that I got was pretty much brand new. So it was like, totally gold. I'm not exactly sure if they come weathered like this or if they come in like a this specific tinge, but the one that I got is just completely uh, gold. So yeah, that's pretty cool to see. Really special. That's an awesome thing to have, especially from, you know, a, a Royal Marine buddy of mine. So, okay, that's, that's awesome. I appreciate that. Okay, so the next one. Okay, I remember seeing this in the video. Yep. Okay, so this is the I think you refer to it as a lanyard, Ryan. So this is a, a lanyard. So I, this is a piece of like, uh, you know, your uniform, something that I would imagine would go over your shoulder. So in the U.S. Army and even in the U.S. Marine Corps, we have cords. So, you know, the U.S. Army, if you're infantry, you get a blue cord that you put over your shoulder. And then you could also have like the, the French Forger or some other unit specific awards on the other shoulder. So this appears to be a unit award. I'm not exactly sure for which unit. I think it's 30 Commando. And don't quote me on that because I am colorblind. So it's a little bit harder for me to distinguish the colors. But I was doing my research after watching Ryan's, Ryan's video, and I think it's from 30 Commando. So if you guys could let me know if I'm, if I'm right or not, then I would appreciate it. Again, uh, color isn't really my speciality with the whole color blindness. Okay, this feels different. So, okay, I remember Ryan saying this was like a, a coaster to one of the, I guess it was like a, 
So I guess the sergeant's mess. So I think this, their their mess is what we'd call like our ball. Uh, we do have like mess nights and like warriors nights that are pretty similar. So it might be more similar to this sergeant's mess, but that is really cool. So that has like the whole 40 commando symbol right there. That's pretty special. Again, with these specific events, you'll have like specific coasters or you'll have like a coin. You'll get something from that event that you wouldn't be able to get at any other point. So this is sort of like a timestamp of history, you know, just having this this coaster because this is probably just specific to that one event, which is really cool to have. But again, it's, it's like it's a piece of history, but it's also a piece of someone's legacy, so to speak. So I get to see what units they've been in you know, what they wore from a day-to-day -day basis, and then this cool stuff like this from his mess night. So awesome, awesome. And I do like how it has like the infantry blue. If you guys have seen the infantry, the US Army infantry blue cord, looks very similar to that. Okay, so next, and this is iconic. So this is the, the Royal Marines Commando uh, badge or flash, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but that is very cool. Again, I will do a close up because it doesn't really do it justice to be from that far away. But this is really special. I remember Ryan was saying that this was something that he wore on his uniform, I think for like the whole time, which is insane to think that this was on a freaking badass Royal Marines uniform, you know, during his service. And that's just really cool to think about. Again, it's, it's, it's cool having a piece of like history, so to speak, but it's really special having a piece of someone's le legacy and you know them being willing to share that with me that's really cool to have wow i didn't expect it to be this big i kind of thought it was a little bit smaller from what you know the pictures i see i guess the pictures pictures don't really do it justice okay now this i i remember him talking about this so he was saying that he went to some investigations course which i don't know too much about and i'm not sure how that actually works with the royal marines so if you guys could provide some information as to you know what that that investigations course consists of, I would appreciate it. But that's really cool. So I didn't know it's like Velcro on this side. I worked with the Royal Marines a few times. I worked with the the British Army a few times, and I worked specifically with the um, the Scots. I think it was four Scots. And I remember they had like this whole shoulder thing going on, but I didn't know it was Velcro. So that's pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure how that goes on with the specific uniform, but. Again, awesome part of history, awesome part of that legacy. So we'll put that to the side and see what else. So this is cool. So this is like a dog tag. It says Royal Marines, uh, Per Mare, Per Terum. And then you have, um, you know, like I think it's uh, maybe a religious quote or something from the Bible. I got to say I'm not hugely familiar with the Bible. Um, you know, I was baptized, but I don't know too much of like scriptures and all that stuff but this is a cool thing so when we go through marine corps boot camp you'll get like a few things like this like you know dog tags with sayings and expressions even when you're joining the marine corps you'll get dog tags like this with like a certain phrase like maybe the code of conduct or like a, a creed of some unit so this is awesome again this is a cool part of history and this is probably like a a bit of a time stamp because these things tend to go in phases uh, I'm not sure if this is like a recruiting thing that someone would give out whenever you join, but I would love to know a little bit more history about how they implement these because that's really cool. Okay, awesome. All right, I'm going to give you guys a close-up of all this awesome stuff. Okay, so again, here we have that Royal Marines Commando badge. Really, really cool. And again, you can see it's not it's not brand new or anything. Like This thing has been through some stuff. I like how it's fuzzy in the back. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, we have the globe and laurel. Again, so you can see, I'll probably I'll, I'll try and superimpose a Marine Corps Eagle, Eagle Globe and Anchor over here. But yeah, you can see you have the globe and it has Asia, Europe, and Africa. And then the Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor, you have the other side of the planet, which is really cool. And then again, just the detail in this is really solid. I'm not exactly sure if they come weathered like this because the one i got was just completely gold and if they do weather i'm not sure how they do it so that'd be something cool to look up as well then we have again the i think it's military police but you have like this uh this cool badge yeah so 
I'm going to spend a few, I don't know, honestly, maybe like two hours doing some research on all this stuff because, again, it's just if someone gives this to you, I feel like you owe it to them to really do that research and learn a little bit more about it. And then here we have that that lanyard. Really cool. Again, you can see like the nice, try and change the focus here. You can see the nice weave on the lanyard itself. Really cool. And yeah, I think it's green and tan. And if it is, then I think that's 30 Commando, but not entirely sure. Then we have this awesome coaster and you can see the Commando dagger on there. Nice and shiny, that's really, that's really badass. Yeah, so for our Marine Corps balls, we'd have like um, coins usually made, usually like a bottle opener so you can get more alcohol in your system while you're there. And then this awesome little dog tag here. And then again, the phrase on the back. So really, really cool. Yeah, so Ryan, buddy, really, really cool stuff. When I get back to the States, this is definitely going to have like a, a place of honor, so to speak. So when I get back to the States, I plan on having like a cool display in the background. So maybe, there, maybe it'll be like a Velcro wall or something. But uh, yeah, I'll do something so I can display everything that all of y'all send me. Because again, if you guys are willing to send me stuff, then I should at least be willing to do the research, learn a little bit more about it, and uh, you know, display it proudly. Which, uh, yeah, I hope I can do that for y'all. So, again, really, really special stuff. I do appreciate it, Ryan. Again, feel free to go over and check out his channel, guys. He does a lot of awesome stuff. Really cool guy, too. And, again, he was a Royal Marine, which is, I mean, it's badass. So, what else can you say? So, yeah, uh, I hope to do some videos with him in the future. So, look out for that. And, yeah, definitely, I definitely want to learn a little bit more about his, his background because uh, this is some cool stuff. Cool piece of legacy, cool piece of history for sure. So if you guys like seeing, you know, historical memorabilia, maybe when I get a whole bunch of more stuff, I can combine all this stuff that I got with, you know, all of my mementos that I got in the military, and we can just do like a, a video explaining everything. So I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a really special thing. Um, it really does mean a lot for me to receive this stuff from uh, from a buddy. And I mean, again, it's. This thing has been through some stuff. You know, they always say if the walls could tell stories, you'd probably hear some crazy stuff. But if this stuff could tell stories, you'd probably hear a lot more. So, yeah, really cool, really special. Again, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah, I hope you were able to appreciate all this awesome stuff with me. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, check out Ryan's channel. I'll put that down in the video description. But that is it for this video. So I will see you all in the next one.